Hey guys, good morning, welcome back. Today another uh, upgrade, another install for you today on my 2020 Electric Glide Standard. This upgrade is gonna serve two purposes. First, it's cosmetic uh, to beautify the bike, to make it nicer, personalize it to me, finish up uh, the look the way I like it. And first, most important, is functionality, comfort of ride. So as some of you may know, the Electric Glide standard comes with a, a windshield, windscreen, a Harley part that is, uh, they go by, by sizes, they call the small, medium, and large. This one is a medium, and when I actually measure it from, from here to here, it's uh, eight inches. So, um, give me a second. I decided, uh, first of all, to complete the look that I have uh, everything pretty much blacked out on the top over here by the cockpit. As you know, I've, and the Pats already uh, did the, the levers, did the clutch and brake levers. I did uh, the mirrors, handlebars in black. It is about time to complete this whole chrome and black look with uh, a darker uh, windshield. That's the first, that's uh, the second actually uh, purpose. The mo first and most important <clears throat> is the comfort of riding. Now, when I'm going uh, high speeds, like 110, 120, 130, just kidding. But when I'm going high speeds, uh, I can definitely feel buffeting. Now, now, what is buffeting? Like people say, oh, they use that term a lot and they don't even know how to pinpoint what exactly that is. Well, buffeting is uh, when some wind, uh, either coming from the top or from the sides, hits the top of your helmet or any part of the helmet, depending how, you know, how much buffeting you're getting. And you actually feel it by the whole helmet moving and you can really notice it at high speeds is when your vision, when your vision starts to get like uncomfortable. Think of it as if you're, you're, you're being bumped in your head and your eyes are moving and it's very difficult to concentrate and see traffic ahead and it's really uncomfortable. There's a lot of noise, there's a lot of sound of wind. You can't hear your music properly. Your whole visibility, your whole vision is, is in being impaired. And you can actually see that when you dock down lower underneath the windshield it improves i mean your visibility all of a sudden is better you're hiding behind that windscreen so that's what i feel uh, when i'm uh, going down the highway at high speeds so i'm going to be installing uh a darker color windscreen and <clears throat> i'll be keeping uh the name as a surprise to the end because i don't want uh any one of you to be biased uh initially just by the name, oh yeah, it's a good, or yeah, oh no, it's a bad, whatever. I'll put it on the bike, I'll show you how it's done, it's pretty easy. Take it for a ride, we'll go to a ride, and the, the actual ride itself, you'll be able to see tomorrow, I'm gonna post it, we're going up uh, to, I think, Hawk's Nest, John and I, uh, later on today, but the video is gonna come out tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. I'll test it out, and I'll give you uh, my final uh, conclusions, whether it's good or bad, and unveil the actual brand. Look what I just got in the mail. Ta da! <laughs> nice. Gonna make myself a cup of coffee now. No, wait a minute. Before I even start, guys, please do me a favor. Just before we even dive into it, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and click that bell so you get notification every time a new uh, video drops. Of course, uh, whatever's needed for you to identify it. I, I got it. Uh, I'll tell you later where I got it. It's uh, This one is a nine inch and it's got a very familiar design to it. So I got it in uh, black and let's install it. It's pretty easy, pretty easy install. All it is is three Torx T25 or T27. I'll tell you in a second, I'll put it up here on the screen. Take those three out, slide the new one in and tighten them back up again and you're good to go. So yeah, it's a T27. Just 
just slides out, just like that. Now if I can compare the two. Pretty much the same height. Uh, they've got a different design. This one, you can see it's got more of a narrow dynamic with two concaves over here. Uh, maybe the black one is like an inch, half an inch uh, taller. Let's see it from the back. So it's installed and uh, we'll go for a ride. And this afternoon we'll come back from the ride and do another walk around and tell you all about it. So guys, I just got back uh, from a ride with John to the Poconos. Um, and I tested out this uh, windshield today. So what are my conclusions? What are my conclusions? First of all, let me uh, unveil the actual brand. Ta-da! Well, this is uh, something called Amazica. It's uh, something I found on Amazon. It cost me less than $30. So for those of you that uh, thought that it was uh, maybe a clockworks, it definitely has the design, the design, uh, the aerodynamic design of the clockworks and the looks. So uh, let me uh, tell you a little bit how, uh, how it performed and how I like it or not. In terms of functionality, it did a great job. It was, uh, it deflected the wind properly. It wasn't flapping. I did feel a slight, slight reduction in the buffeting. I think so. I mean, uh, still getting some buffeting that I was getting before with my uh, Harley uh, medium, medium size uh, windshield. But I think this is slightly better. Still, it's not the, the amount of buffeting reduction that I'd like. I'd like to get it even uh, a more significant reduction of, uh, of the buffeting. What I liked about it is the looks. Looks really nice. And the number one biggest uh, pro for this uh, windshield is the price. For less than $30, $30, yeah, less than $30, I got a very, very nice uh, windshield. What I don't like about it Truth is that for $30, you cannot expect to get the quality and the finish, the fine finishes as a, as a more expensive and more uh, like a brand name. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, it's, it's uh, not as thick as uh, the competition as Clockworks, but they actually did uh, the lip over here is thicker so it gives it uh, rigidity the finish itself uh, as you can see the fitment if you see over here how it fits or doesn't fit properly the actual fairing not as a finesse quality as other windscreens and uh, Overall, it, it feels like uh, pretty much like a $30 uh, windscreen. However, is this worth the $30? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. I'd say they pretty much uh, copied the design from, uh, from the Clockworks, but the Clockworks is five times more expensive. Is uh, Clockworks five, time, uh, five times better than this? I don't think so. This is definitely worth uh, the $30 that it cost. And if you're on a budget or if you're not sure what windshield you want to get, 
this is definitely an option for you. I have a link down by the description where you can find it. I bought it on Amazon. I think the name is uh, Amazika or something like that. Am I gonna keep it? Tell you the truth at this stage, I don't know. I think I prefer to, to spend a little bit more, not a little bit more, significantly more, five times more, and get uh, the clockworks. So that's it. Hope you found this uh, review and install interesting and you learned something from it. I appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel and want to watch more of these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications. Till the next review to next video, I'm Sandy from Holy Shift. Peace out.